would not to say the Leica M6 is the most my favorite camera in Leica rangefinder. Nor do I think this 35mm pre-A lens is the most special lens in Leica lenses. Of course, the most special lens is the Leica A element lens, I think. But they are the camera and the lens I bring to everywhere, carry it every day and take a lot of shot, um, day and night, and uh, on the street of the city, uh, or while traveling in recent years. In today's video, let's talk about the most portable combination, the Leica M6 and the Somilux uh, 35mm 1.4 create like a glowworks. So look carefully what is the different. You see this one is the TTL version. The TTL a little bit higher uh, than the M6 Classic. Right? But my friend and animation filmmaker he said the Leica M6 TTL become ugly because the 2mm higher. I don't care the 2mm difference, but I really care if they are the different shutter sound. Look at this, the classic, the, now the TTL. I don't know the reason. A little bit different, maybe they should be same, I think. Uh, but I think maybe this is the reason. My M6 Classic version is not a Leica, maybe. It actually is uh, lights. The lights version, I think, a little bit earlier in the Leica M6. Uh, someone said the, mm, the lights version uses uh, some parts from the M4. I think maybe, maybe yes, maybe not, but uh, just a rumor. As the name, the M6 TTL have the TTL function, but I never use a flash on the Leica M6, so the TTL mean to, to me nothing. In the camera back is the ISO setting dial. Press and turn to set the ISO of the film you use. Because M6 has light meter, so this dial is actually useful, not like the Leica M3, just looks beauty. This M6 is a little bit special, but too much uh, because the price is insane, I think. The most of the Leica M6 TTL. They haven't uh, these words under the left shoulder. This is the last batch of M6 TTL customized by Japanese dealer. Because the Japanese, they love M3 so much, so they printed the words like, a, like a M3. <laughs> Start from like a M6, but finally, like a camera, have the light meter. The mounting battery for metering is here. M6 uses two LR44 batteries. The battery are only for metering. Even without a battery, it just lose its metering function, and you can still shut normally, like the Nikon FM2. The the camera body is all mechanical. Uh, by the way, here's the uh, other important point. If your M6 light meter is broken, you should just use it as like an M4. Don't want to repair it because the uh, repair cost is very, very expensive. Almost you can buy another like M6. So you must very, very carefully check the light meter of the M6 when you won't buy it. The metering muzzle of the M6 is a little bit special. Look, this is a 12 mm white spot printed on the shutter cutter. 
it will shoot after advanced fuel. So the metering wheel works after you advanced and lightly press the shutter button. Uh, this is very important uh, to understand how it works, which allow you to know how to get the perfect uh, exposure data you want. The camera's metering works by reading the brightness of this white spot. Uh, this means that the image project on the film through the lens, only white spot area is calculated by metering. And the part outside this spot area does not affect the metering. Uh, anyone who has used a Leica M6, they all have a feeling the, the Leica M6, the metering is more accurate than the Nikon. Maybe this is the reason that most people, when they shot, they always put the subject on the center of the frame. The center area is like us meeting only take care area. Uh, the M6 Classic and the M6 TTL, the metering display is different. M6 Classic only has left and the right LED arrows. Uh, when the shutter aperture setting match the metering result, the two arrows are displayed together. The TTL version is different, except for the two LED arrows on the left and the right. A dot is added in the middle to indicate the uh, shutter aperture setting match the metering result. The M6 Classic has a small little shutter speed dial while the M6 TTL has a big speed dial. And their uh, direction are different. The change in direction is uh, very interesting. The M6 TTL shutter speed can be easy to turn with your finger as you look through the camera. And turn in the correct direction as suggested by the meter LEDs which is the same as the aperture direction. But the M6 Classic's uh, speed dial here is a little bit different and it also goes in the opposite direction that TTL version has. So there is no doubt the M6 TTL version is a little bit more convenient. Also the uh, TTL version maybe use some modern electric part for, for the metering, but uh, I think it doesn't have any different for shooting. Um, whatever classic or TTL, this different is not very important after you use using it for a long time. The most important thing is that no matter with classic or TTL, or you can shoot smoothly and quickly. M6 does not have self-timer. I don't know why the reason. Maybe the Leica thinks the people who use Leica, they never want to uh, shut themselves. The shutter sound of the M6 is very quiet. It's quieter and softer than the Leica M3. I really like this uh, when you take a shot without attaching others' attention. This is also the first main reason why people switch to Leica rangefinder from SLR camera. The shutter vibration of the M6 is very, very slight. Mm, I think even slighter than the M3. Using the Leica M6, sometimes you can use the low speed, like a 1 by 15 second, the low speed. You also will get the clear image. That's the impossible on SLR camera. This is means that you can use Leica M6 to shot in low light environment very easily. The ISO 400 is, can handle the most situation. I think this is also the second main reason people switch 
to the Leica rangefinder from SLR camera. The third reason, of course, the rangefinder intuitive viewfinder. You can check my video, last video, about talking about the Leica M3. I really don't understand why Leica made such a tilted film reminder novel like this. My friend has once damaged his M6 rewinding knob by putting the M6 in his bag like this way. If you have used the Nikon F3, the film advance and the film rewinder is amazing experience, I think. You maybe think the Leica M6 is seem to be the more earlier, uh, maybe 30 years earlier than the Nikon F3, but they almost the same times in 1980s. The M6, like all Leica rangefinder camera, they are very, very simple. It discards the, a lot of unnecessary function, allow you to focus more on the subject rather than the camera itself. It is more like a toy, not a toy. It allows you to easy to walk in, not enjoy in your hand. Especially after you shooting more than a dozen rolls of film, uh, continuously in a few days. I feel it will give you a little bit of human-machine integration. Um, before I went to travel, finally I always choose the Leica M6 and with the uh, Sermilex 35mm Pre-A lens uh, after struggle and uh, set out with one camera, one lens. It is small and light. They can do almost all shooting I need. Okay, this is part one. In part two, let's talk about the, the Leica Glow lens. Thanks for watching. See you.